he almost got lost in, in the dream. Mm -hmm. what, what was that dream? Or what is the dream? I'm not sure, that's interesting because that was one of the first songs I wrote for the record back in um, like the fall of 2012. I remember, it came to me, I was like strumming those chords in my room and I just immediately hit the tape machine, laid like a, a drum track down and, and started singing and the first line of that song just kind of came to me, which is, which is, those are the amazing moments that I, I search for all the time, or I don't search for them, I wait for them. Um, and then so at the end of the day, when I, I made it the title of the record, like five minutes before, I was like turning everything in, I had to have everything, have everything in by like November 4th at four o'clock and at 3.30. I had a couple different titles to the record, but nothing I'd signed off on or committed to. So everyone was waiting for me to the final title so they could like approve on the art and everything. And, and then I just knew I was like just lost in the dream. And um, I'm not sure if it's, some people said it's like the dream of doing what you love. And then you know, finding myself kind of lost in that a little bit. I can see that. Um, but is it true? Uh, what's, what, is it for you also about this doing what you want to do but then getting lost in... I think a little bit. I think when I, when I, when I um, decided on it so quickly, I knew that that's kind of where I was headed with it. Um, yeah, I think it's just about that moment where, just, not, I don't know. When did you, when did you first, when were you first aware of this lost in the dream feeling? Um, There's something that happened or maybe, I don't know. No, it, it didn't come, even the title, the t it's funny because when I came up with the song, that definitely wasn't where I was headed with, like that, that's not, and that actually might have been the totally opposite end of it. I remember when I came come back from a ton of touring in 2012, there was like a little period there in the fall when I actually started recording a lot of these songs in my house, which was the last time I kind of used my home studio. Um, there was a period of time there where I was like probably the happiest I'd been in a couple months or like a couple years, I mean. Um, and I wrote Lost in the Dream, I wrote Under the Pressure and um, Eyes to the Wind. But those are also some of the most intense songs in the album, I guess. But, and I didn't, it wasn't really until five months after that I started like having a little bit of a little breakdown. It was it, was it for you when you wrote those songs? Did you all, all, already finalize the lyrics? Some of them. Yeah, because, well... Under yeah, for Lost in a Dream, definitely. That was okay, like... Okay, because, yeah. because Lost in a Dream... Uh, but oh. not under the pressure. Okay. No, okay. Because, well, under the pressure is, is a line, a dream like this get wasted. Right. And um, you said, eyes to the wind, or when I met you and I f fell away again. For me, it's also, I don't know if it's true, but I read through it and I thought, well, it's, it has something to do with some sort of relationship with someone or something, maybe. Yeah. Um, falling in love, but that relationship, someone or something is um, uh, pulling you to, towards him or her, but also um, drifting you away. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's yeah, I mean... But is it, is it, is that, I, I, I thought it was a woman, mm -hmm. but is it a woman or is it uh, the music in itself? I think it's, um, I think it's all those things, I mean, I think, I was definitely going through a breakup at the time. I think the muse was like, you know, the idea of, of, of falling away from a woman, falling in love with a woman. But um, I think in reality, it's just about all relationships, really, you know? And maybe where a lot of the relationships I had in my life were as a result of kind of being away, both physically and mentally, for a while, you know? Like being a traveling, there's like that side of it where you're on the road a lot and you're living on the road and 
that's a way of being not present, but another way of being not present is just to be like shut off, which even though I was like outward, I was still pretty closed, you know? How come? I don't know. I feel like, um, I don't think it's something I really realized until, until I know it, until I realized it, you know? Um, and when did you realize it? I realized it at some point last year when I started working on music and started, um, I went through a breakup and started like, but did she found myself keep... alone, like living alone in this, in this huge house I'd lived in for 10 years, not leaving the house. Like just very nervous and very anxious and depressed and weird kind of thoughts and um, and just I don't know. But did, did she also tell you you were a bit closed or? Yeah. So that triggered it too. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just been something that uh, you know got emerged through in a lot of relationships I had. Yeah. What was the last song you wrote for this album? The last song I wrote would be... Um, well, for me, lyric-wise, after the... Um, I guess In Reverse was actually yeah. the last one that... It started early on as one of the first ones, um, an idea I had, but I kept changing it. And then we had tracked the basics for a lot of the record. And In Reverse was one of the last ones that I tracked that I started from the ground up. Because when I, um, I think the lyrics, they, they, they tend to, well, begin um, a bit angry, a bit, a bit, and then in the end, it's more mellow, more, well, I don't know, more um, that you've accepted the way things are. Is it, can I, is, is that a line through the album, lyric-wise? For sure. Yeah, I think the album kind of starts um, maybe not angry, but definitely like frustration. Frustration, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and um, and then by the end, I think it's like mo like when Eyes of the Wind hits at track six, it's kind of like an acceptance yeah. starting to happen, which is cool. I spent a lot of time sequencing the album, but I didn't. I was thinking more about feel, like how songs made me feel when mm -hmm. I was sequencing it, and then someone pointed that out. They're like, oh no, the whole thing kind of shifts at six. I was like, oh, that's a, yeah, it's like that's cool that that happened without me worrying about that side of it, like content-wise, you know. Yeah. But it does go into like a little bit of a a different direction, which is yeah, because which is great. I wrote down lines from from each song, and then the first two songs, uh, under the pressure, is a line, a dream like this gets wasted. Well, yeah. I all, already mentioned it. The second yeah. one, red eyes, you've abused my fate. Right. Then you end on a note in 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 reverse. You end. I don't mind you disappearing because I know you can be found. Right. But that's a bit more uplifting, more... Well, that song, the lyrics, what, 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 what triggered this song? The In reverse, um, it's definitely my favorite. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play that one, actually. It's definitely my favorite song. Um, I don't know. I just I had a lot of lines for that, and it wasn't one thing that, that inspired it. Um, only because I don't, I've never been able to, to write like that. Like I'm not focused enough where I can like sit down in one moment and capture my thoughts in one fleeting moment. Um, with me, it's 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 more like I have a couple lines. Like I was when I was working on that the first day when it first came to me. Those I came up with the, like I writ, wrote those lines that don't mind disappearing. Um, and the other ones just kind of come over this uh, span of time, like just keep rewriting. And I think I was, in my mind, I had a scene of like two people out in, like a st in the street, like, which is how it starts, um, like far away from each other, like probably thinking about like, I don't know, neighborhood I grew up in or something. And I just had this image and I just kept coming back to that image in some way. Like somebody like far away over like a ridge, like a driveway or something. Um, but yeah, and then and I and I finalized those. I mean, I did a lot of the lyrics to a lot of these songs while mixing. Like I had done scratch lyrics over the course of a year, 
and never really settled on it. And then when we were mixing the song, and then it started to sound like it was going to sound, then I'd just mm -hmm. go in and do a lyric like, like that, and that would be the finished lyric. So okay. In Reverse was like that, too, where I'd spent about six months, seven months building up the song and rewriting lyrics and having all these different arrangements. And then we, we were mixing it for about four days, and I muted everything at the beginning, so it was just those synths and a few, few other things, but we took out all, I took out all the guitars and then just went in and sang the lyric that's on the album. And that's awesome. But, um, and, you know, in the moment, I made some, you know, made, made some of it up as I went along. Last question. I don't mind you disappearing, because I know you can be found. What is it you? Is it a person, or is it music, or is it your I think dream? it's probably, maybe it's me. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's you. I don't know. It's like one of those devices, like, I always use you a lot, talking to somebody. Because um, I am talking to somebody, I think. I, there's no one in particular, not to be vague, but I think I don't mind you disappearing. It's just like, I don't mind anything falling apart, you know? Whether it's a, a person disappearing or it's like a love gone away or if it's a relationship falling apart or if it's friendship in general, you know? Um, I think that's what it is. <laughs>